Now with the recruiting season heating up and the national letter of intent day just a month away, June Jones left these five coaches as candidates to fill his position. Local boy Dwayne Aquino, who is currently the defensive coordinator at Texas. Palolo boy Norm Chow, the NFL's Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator. Giants OC Kevin Gilbride, UH linebackers coach Cal Lee, and former Hawaii head man and current San Jose State skipper Dick Tomey. But some of the returning Warriors already have in mind who they want as head coach. I don't like the five picks that he had, hands down, like just Cal Lee. If Cal Lee was the head coach, I, I think that would probably be the greatest thing because, you know, he has a lot of local ties with the local kids. And supposedly, from what I've heard, they run the similar offense back at St. Louis when he was winning all those championships. And, you know, he's a great guy. And, you know, we always have laughs with him and all the kids get along with him. He has a good coaching record, and I know how he is as a coach. And, like, he's a real player's coach, and he can get along with everybody. And, like, he's a part of the coaching staff already, so it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, because the position is a state job, it would need to be posted for at least 10 days, meaning at the earliest, a new head coach could be named by next Thursday. And explaining, you know, the recruiting season is so important right yeah. now. Coach Jones already had a list of recruits that were, you know, tagged to be coming to the University of Hawaii. Those are now up in the air. You would imagine they would follow Coach Jones because they have not signed the letter of intent yet. This needs to be taken care of soon. This can't be another one of those Bob Nass situations mm -hmm. where a, a coach is named after the recruiting period has ended. That would be disastrous for this Hawaii football team. Yeah, in a way, don't you think Herman Frazier's hands were tied because didn't Coach Jones and his agent Lee Steinberg say they would not negotiate during the season, it'd have to be afterwards? Yeah, you know, Coach Jones said that, but the thing is that you know, Coach Jones made it clear is uh, it's one of those situations that even though I said I didn't want to negotiate during the mm -hmm. season, it would have been nice after each game to you, you know, to have Herman Frazier offer him a contract. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that's what he's saying. And, yeah. and obviously he said he did not want to negotiate, so you don't know what really was going on there. But you would imagine yeah. that it was too little too late that Coach Jones did not feel the love and the aloha that he felt he should be given on a 12-0 season. Well, he left a pretty impressive list of candidates. Yeah, that, you know, it, mm -hmm. when you look at the names, and obviously the, the players said that they look at Cal Lee, they're excited about that. I also heard Norm Chow's name up there. Obviously, two guys that a lot of local fans would look to and be excited about. Uh, this would be a very exciting time for yeah. Hawaii football. You know, the thing is, yes, it, it's a sad day. June Jones has moved on. He, he's gone to SMU. But that's exactly what has happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has moved on. So I think now it's time for the University of Hawaii yeah. to move on as well. Look ahead at what the possibilities are with someone else coming in as yeah. the new head coach. Well, thanks to Coach Jones, uh, UH is in a great position. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, nationally recognized. You know, they got the salary for the new coach coming in and also improvements being planned right. or in the works for this new administration. Definitely. Right? And President McLean said that those things yeah. that Coach Jones wanted yeah. will be taken care of. They will be accomplished in the future. It's just a shame that, mm -hmm. you know, June Jones wanted it. He will not be the coach to be getting those and the thing I want to get to I, I talked about at five is I've been getting emails from supporters saying that they will not support this team they need the support yeah they need right. bottom line they need the support all thank right thanks, Rob. thank you much Rob and thank you for joining and um, for me I won't be really satisfied until they get rid of Herman Frazier a lot of people are calling for his head I personally I don't I don't think it needs to come to that I just think things need to change if that ha if change has to come with uh, Herman Frazier being fired then I'm okay with it. Warrior supporters say they're... Today in Dallas, even more difficult to see is Coach Jones made it official. The coach accepting the offer to leave Paradise and the University of Hawaii and head south to Southern Methodist University. The crowded room, as you can see, cheering the announcement. The coach holding up a number one jersey and donning a hat with the new team colors. Jones's agent, Lee Steinberg, says the coach agreed to a five-year deal that'll pay him about two million bucks per season. To be quite honest, right up until last night before I said my prayers, uh, I was still feeling that, that uh, you know, my heart was still in Hawaii. And I'll, Hawaii will always be my home, and it's always going to have half of my, my being there. Uh, you, don't, you don't spend as much time there like I did without those feelings. Now, when Coach came here, Hawaii was coming off an 0-12 season. He's going to have his work cut out from there, too, because the Mustangs coming off a 1-11 and campaign. And during that press conference, he showed a little bit of what many Hawaii people have come to love about the coach, and that is a sense of humor. And uh, I, it excited me last night when I went back to the hotel to uh, be a part of that. As I said, uh, and as Steve said, uh, the fact that you're uh, uh, where you are right now uh, excites me uh, just because the only way is up. And, and I, uh, I am good at going up. Uh, 
So. <laughs> So a celebration there in Big D here in Manoa, not so much. In fact, the mood here was rather somber. KHNL News 8 Sports Director Jason Tang joins us now, and you were there at the press conference today when the university all but said, we blew it. They did blow it. You know, and I heard a lot of people talk about, and this is like a black Monday for the University of Hawaii here. Now, the officials want to express their thanks. They wanted to celebrate all that Jones has done, but they knew they lost a great coach. All of us definitely wanted Coach Jones to continue at UH Manoa. He's accomplished so very much here in Hawaii, and his nine-year UH coaching record shows that he truly is a transformational leader. It wasn't about matching their offer. Uh, he appreciated what we'd done. Um, it was about uh, providing some reassurance on the facilities front, and uh, I think we did that, and he said that as well. Um, so I think we got pretty close. Even though this was not the outcome any of us wanted, we do wish him well in gratitude for all that he has contributed to our lives here in Hawaii and beyond. It's now our responsibility to build on Coach Jones' success that we have all enjoyed on this ride as well. Finally, I also want to apologize to our fans and to the state for matters getting to this stage in the first place. Exceptional performance, deserves exceptional recognition and your university was slow to step up that won't happen again my focus as your president is to keep the drama on the athletic field and in the stadium where it belongs and not at the ticket window or in contract negotiations now as you just heard there president mclean taking the brunt of the the, the, the reason why Coach Jones did leave, but Dash, obviously, uh, athletic director Herman Frazier has to take some of that responsibility as well. And they did address that situation. Now, they didn't exactly say he would be done, but it made it sound like that way, and we'll know officially tomorrow what is the, what the future lies for, for Herman. Yeah. Well, a couple of not so veiled references there the ticket window debacle yep. and, and the drama keeping it on the playing field, and those are things that Herman was directly responsible exactly. for. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Of course, there's so many peripheral things that uh, fall out that's going to happen as a result. There are uh, the recruits, what's going to happen there. Then there's the decision about all the coaches. When Jones woke up this morning, one of the first phone calls he placed was to his assistant coaches here in Hawaii, many of whom may follow him to Big D. KHNL News 8's Stephen Florino joins us now live from studio with more on the reaction from the Warrior family. Stephen? Dash, everyone says they knew Jones would do what's best for him and his family, but it's still shocking that the man who took Hawaii to unprecedented heights is gone obviously it's a sad day it feels like it's kind of an end of an era but um, at the same time you know I understand what coach Jones had to do when I went to bed last night and I said to my wife you know as I kissed her goodnight that I fully expect he's gonna stay and then four o'clock in the morning the phone call came and he was on the other line and he said he was going and you know I still even at that point you know it was like a part of me just said this is this is not gonna happen June has so much aloha for this state and the people of the state and the players and everybody so to say goodbye to all that has got to be, you know, really, really tough for him. I just hope that uh, the school does all the right things, gets the right people in here, and, um, you know, UH can just get going and get ready for next year because um, there's just, you know, they're going to have a great team next year. I just don't want any, any, any of this to hurt them in the road, down the road. Jones says every member of his current staff is welcome to join him in Dallas. At this time, though, quarterback coach Dan Morrison, defensive coordinator Greg McMacken, and running backs coach Wes Swan are expected to join Jones at SMU. Reporting live, Stephen Florino, Cage, Now News 8. And you already heard from UH President David McClain at the top of the newscast, but his office also released an official statement today. While expressing his disappointment that Jones is leaving and wishing him success, McClain reiterated his apology to fans and all of Hawaii. He says matters should not have re reach this stage in the first place. He acknowledged the university was slow to step in and vowed that it won't happen again. And in a written statement, UH Manoa Chancellor Virginia Hinshaw says the university was able to offer a competitive package and assurances that non-financial matters would be addressed. She says a search for a new head football coach begins immediately. And Governor Linda Lingle struck a thankful and optimistic chord in her reaction to Jones's resignation. She wishes Jones and his family well as the coach takes on a new opportunity she thanked him for everything he's done for the Warrior football program and for the pride and national recognition he brought to Hawaii. She says she is confident that the spirit and unity Hawaii gained as a result of June Jones's accomplishments will continue as UH moves into a new chapter. So that's